Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. And I'm going to look at one, show you today one of the most rare of the Class Bs, and that is an Explorer 230 with the dually rear end. Never knew why other brands didn't pick this design up because it's awesome. This is a 2004 Explorer. 2004 Explorer 230XLW. It's a 20 foot long wide body camper van with a dually rear end. Last year they built these folks. Let me tell you something about Explorer. Originally started in 1958 by, as Frank's Motorhomes. 1968 they became Travco. And the Explorer was the first uh, commercially built Class B camper van. So if it wasn't for Explorer, we would have road treks, pleasure ways, coach houses, and the whole van craze that's going on right now. So this is the original. Unfortunately, 2004, they did close the doors. This was one of the last ones built. Uh, this unit, folks, excellent condition. Um, looking around it, you can see it uh, looks great. Got good looking tires on it. This unit was factory ordered. These people picked it up at the factory. I've got all the original paperwork. Now folks, this unit was ordered. I've got all the original paperwork inside without a generator. Uh, obviously the people didn't have a need for it. Spent 60 some odd thousand dollars in 2004 prices. Which today is double. You know, that's funny, but RV, new RV prices have doubled in the past 15 years. New road trek now costs 120 grand. So, uh, 60 grand, and they ordered it specifically without a generator. Now, we did something we don't normally do, and um, we happen to have a 4KW on end with about 230 hours sitting in the shop that runs perfectly. Well, we put it in here, folks. So it's going. It's got a brand. It's got a. Well, it's a used one. It's about the same age as this coach, but it's in very good condition. 2004 uh, Explorer will have, and it does have the Onan 4KW generator. All fiberglass roof. You know these are well, well built vans, and um, of course, you know 2004 recession was just starting. Unfortunately. Explorer Motorhomes was just one of those brands that didn't survive and, and be honest with you That's probably the biggest crush to the small motorhome market when Explorer and Chinook went out of business But anyway folks clear coats perfect body looks great Got the dually rear end and it does have the air shock suspension so you can firm up or toughen up your ride. It does have a towing package, can tow 4,000 pounds. Limited by the hitch, I'm sure you could probably tow a little bit more than that if you uh, change the hitch out. Let's look inside. And folks, this is a nice van. We put new carpet in it. And this has got a great floor plan. And I've had a few of these over the years, and this is the first one I've seen with this particular floor plan. And it does have the dinette and the sofa in the back that makes a queen size bed. So it can sleep three. Up here in the front, folks, it only has 110,792 miles, which for one of these vans is not bad. Um, you know, people don't let these things sit in the driveway. People that own these vans, they use them for day trips, weekend trips. They don't let them become driveway queens like a lot of the Class A's and C's do. So you, most of the time when you look at a Class B camper van, they're going to have a little bit more miles than, the, uh, than your average Class A or Class C. But you break down 110,000 miles by 15 years, that's not bad at all, folks. Not bad at all. Dash air is ice cold. Windshield's got one little rock peck, which I'm going to get uh, treated next time my glass guy comes around, so don't worry about that. Um, got the 5.9 liter, 360 cubic inch Magnum V8. Runs great, gives this van plenty of power while still getting good fuel mileage. You're going to get around 14, 15 miles a gallon. Kenwood stereo, the seats look great. There's no smoke, no pet odors. Door panels look great. 
Like I said, all new carpet. It's a nice fan, folks. Got a solar charger on top. Like I said, generator's got about 230 hours. We just serviced it, so you don't have to worry about that. But it does say zero hours on there, so you can keep up with your service. Dinette folds down, makes a bed. And this is pretty cool, and I'm going to put this in PDF format on the website because let me tell you something, folks. You try to look up 2004 Explorer Specs or sales brochure, there's nothing on the Internet. I have both right here. I've got a spec sheet and a, uh, and a sales brochure that I'll be putting in PDF format. Uh, for those of you who are Explorer fans or own Explorers, you can't find this. I'll have it on there. You can look. It'll be on our website, parkwayrvcenter.com, or if you're on YouTube, go to the video description below. In the first paragraph, there'll be a link to my used Class B page. And I'll even do you do you kindness for those Explorer fans. Um, I'll even put a link in the um, to the PDF file in the YouTube video description if it'll let me. Um, over here, you got a side kitchen. Single basin sink, two burner stove top, does have the three-way RV refrigerator freezer. So this can, what that means is this can run off three different fuel sources. You can run it off DC or 12 volt power. You can run it off propane or electricity. If you're hooked into shore power, uh, if you get your generator running, or if you put an inverter in here. Plenty of fluorescent lighting. You know, this is pretty cool because you can do stuff with a wide body that you can't do in like a regular one trek, uh, road trek 190 or something similar. First, you've got this dinette, so that makes a bed. You've actually got a fully enclosed side bathroom instead of having to take a shower in the hall like a lot of the road treks have. That's thanks to the wide body. And this bathroom, of course, shower, it does have a six gallon water heater, uh, fiberglass surround, medicine cabinet, of course, you want to put your toilet paper under the sink when you take a shower. That wouldn't do too good. And when you're in here taking a shower, you're not blocking access to the rest of the camper van. This is a power sofa in the back that lays down flat. And this is the cushion right here. That makes it, a, instead of a full-size bed, that extends it to a queen-size bed. So the bed goes all the way from this wall to the back wall. Got a little 13 inch TV right here, a little VCR. Uh, window unit air, which I like. See, the designers of these Class Bs realize pretty quickly, you don't need a 13,500 BTU air to cool this little area. That little six, 7,000 BTU window unit will cool it. It'll run you out of here. And if it ever goes bad, you're talking about $200 in a Walmart or a Lowe's and about 30 minutes labor to replace it. Or, if you had a rooftop AC, you're talking $1,500 and stuck all day at an RV dealership or longer for them to replace it. So, definitely some advantages to that window unit and it gives you all the cooling power you need. Plus, you don't have that sticking up on your roof, which hurts your, which slows down your aerodynamics, uh, um, causing you to burn more gas. So definitely some advantage to that. 16,000 BTU furnace. Uh, got little cup holders back here. It's got the heated holding tanks. But like I said, I've got all the letters and everything from the original owners where they purchased this in Iowa from the factory. Um, like I said, this is one of the last ones built. And it's in beautiful condition. It really is. Um, got some pretty neat features here. Slide out pantry. Of course, little top storage. And here you got a few little things. Storage in the back. I mean, there's your plug ins for your TV. Uh, two burner stove top. Doesn't look like it's hardly been used. I mean, there's plenty of storage for this size van. Of course, up top you've got storage. Uh, got all the original books and manuals. You can see you got a 12 volt hookup, plenty of storage back here. 31 gallon uh, fresh water tank. And what I like about the dually rear end, folks, you know, Class B vans are great, but 
especially in the older ones they do, when you get in high wind, sometimes you get a little top heavy. That dually rear end is going to give you a lot more control on the road in high winds, and like you get stuck between two semis. I've been there myself. Give you that little extra stability, plus it gives you the ability to have this wider body to do more with the interior than a standard Class B camper van. So, I never understood why this um, why this design never took. And this is a uh, also I believe this was the last year that you could get a Dodge van in a Class B motor home. Uh, or was it? Well, this is a 2003 Dodge van chassis, 2004 motor home, but 2004 title. So, uh, but it is what it is, folks. This unit, very rare. I don't know when I'll have another one. I do not get these Explorers in. And those of you who follow my channel, you know that. You know I get a lot of road treks in, which is the most popular one. And I get occasional Pleasure Way, Coach House, etc. Very rarely do I get a dually rear end Explorer. Just does not hit the market very often. Uh, I think I looked and I think I seen three for sale nationwide. And um, this one right here is really going to sell fast. 27.9, haggle free, folks. Try to find another one like this for this price in this kind of condition. Let me tell you what all it includes. At 27.9, it's going to include a complete checkout by my certified RV techs after purchase. Now, We've already done a preliminary check, so we know the air conditioner, we know the generator, of course we put the generator in so it better work. Uh, we've got, we checked the fridge, uh, lights work, running and driving, we drove this unit up 570 or 80 miles or so. It did great, uh, towed a little vehicle behind it, did great. Um, and remember folks, that's adjustable airbag suspension on this, so you can, it's got an onboard compressor. If you want to firm it up or soften it up, you want to firm it up when you're towing. Uh, but 4,000 pounds, that'll tow like we towed a little Honda Element behind it. So it'll tow most most smaller SUVs and things like cars, things like that, uh, either with a tow dolly or a uh, flat four, which is what we towed it with. But nice little motorhome. Don't get these in very often. Uh, not going to last long. Be honest with you, if this unit's still here a week from now, I'll be surprised. I have bought a bunch of these vans, folks. So if you're not already, if you're looking for a Class B camper van and you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, you need to go ahead and click, click su subscribe, at least for the next couple of weeks, because I'm going to have a bunch of these vans coming in. Now, we've already sold a couple of them, but we're doing things like putting carpet in them, going through them really making them nice, making sure they're nice vans, because we don't sell stuff on our lot unless it's cream of the crop. And these vans, folks, we take a personal pride because we have a lot of personal interest in these vans. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you, folks, we don't get rich on these vans. The markup on these vans compared to a Class A or C is, is way less because we have to go through and make sure everything works good. And like this one, I mean, we put a generator in it. We put new carpet in it. You know, we're not afraid to spend money on an RV, especially one like this that deserves it. So um, definitely, we're not we're going to sell you one of the nicer ones on the market for a good price at twenty seven nine. Will not last, folks. Cannot stress to you enough. Please call before coming to look to verify this unit is available before driving down here because it will not last. Um, this is one of those that if you're coming to look, you better leave a deposit. If you don't, you're probably not going to get it. Every time I say that, we sell it like in two or three days. But like I said, this is something that's worth traveling for. These little B vans, I, I specialize in them, folks. I've got about 10 to 12 out here right now. I don't have all of them posted online yet, but I'm working on that. Um, but keep in mind, a lot of people are traveling here to look at one they see the others that I have that are not posted online, and they bought a couple of those. So, definitely got some good deals. I've got camper vans checked out for you, ready to go, starting as low as twelve nine. And um, if you've got one of these vans for sale, folks, give us a call. If it's nice, uh, ninety five and newer, um, in nice condition. Um, no smoke odors, not been, not been hit. I don't mind a little bit of customization, but not a lot. 
if you've got one of these vans for sale, I'm a, I'm an interested buyer. Um, it's got to be nice though. If it's not nice, I don't want it for any price. If it's a project or needs a lot of work, I don't want it. I don't mind putting carpet in it or in this particular case, putting a generator in it. It never had one, folks. I've got the build sheet. It never had a generator. It was ordered specifically without one. And back then, you could have got a generator in here for about three grand when it was new. So it wasn't that much more money. The people specifically chose not to put a generator in it. A lot of people do that because unless you're going to boondock camp, you really don't need it. And if you're just going to drive it down the road, stay at campgrounds or stay at relatives' yards, hook up to their electricity at home, you don't need it. So, um, you know, but we went ahead and put a 4K in here in Onan. Low hours, runs great, and uh, that's, what it, that's what the specs call for was a 4K. I know most of these vans have 2.8s, but this one specifically called for a 4,000 watt. So you've got probably more generator than you need, but you never know. Heck, you can just about power two RVs with a 4KW. Anyway, folks, 27.9 will include the inspection. Anything we find wrong with it in our standard inspection, we're going to fix, repair, or replace at no additional cost to you, and no cost will be spared. And it does have a little table that sets up back here, too, by the way. Uh, no expense will be spared to make sure this unit is everything I say it is and more. And basically, for 27.9, you're going to get a fully functional 2004 Explorer 230XLW checked out, ready to go, throw your food and luggage in it, take it to the campground. Um, 27.9. No worries, no stress. And that's haggle free. I'm not going to take a dime less. Firm price. I don't care how you're paying for it. I have financing available with approved credit. Keep in mind these vans usually do require quite a bit of money down, a lot more than your average RV, so be prepared to spend 25-30% down or more. Traditionally, most van buyers are cash buyers. These are very versatile vehicles. You can sleep three. Um, you can use it for day trips, weekend trips, cross-country trips. Say you, uh, and this is actually a good, good, good uh, example. Uh, I sold some of these to a couple here a few months ago. Guy was a big college football fan. His, his wife loved to get out on Saturday and shop. They bought one of these vans so he can sit in the parking lot at the mall with the generator running and the game on to watch that and chill out while she spent a few hours in the mall shopping. Like I said, there's a endless uses for these vans. People live in them, travel in them, see the country, take you a few months off, go cross country, go up into Canada. Um, I mean, this van is designed for that kind of stuff, folks. You can park it in a regular parking spot. They're as easy to drive and park as a full-size SUV or pickup truck. And if you can drive an SUV, uh, you can drive this van. It's 20 foot long, um, and I have all the particular weights inside are in the uh, in the ad on the website, parkwayrvcenter.com. And let me tell you something, folks. This van movement's getting crazy. People are buying these things like crazy, traveling. Um, folks, I, ha I I sold one this morning to a lady 2,000 miles away in Boise, Idaho. 2,000 miles away, and she's buying a 2001 road trek. And, um, wow. Like I said, these vans, everybody wants them. Nobody has them. We do. We've got plenty of them. We've probably got one of the largest selections in the country right now of used Class B camper vans under 50 grand. Got more coming too. I think we bought a couple of others over the weekend, so definitely got some more coming in. And um, this particular one, like I said, that newly rear end is something you don't see every day. You're going to like driving it, and the, and the regular vans drive fine. But when you drive one of these dually vans on the highway and high winds, you can tell a difference. Plus, if you're towing, you can tow better with that dually rear end. It's a lot more stable. So, no, it's two extra tires to buy when you replace the tires, but. You know, it's well worth it, I think. If you're interested in this van, folks, give us a call. 27.9, you get the orientation, uh, which is a uh, walkthrough demonstration. The way it works, folks, let me just break it down for you. The uh, way it works, after you purchase this RV, it goes in line to get checked out. Now, we can get one of these vans done right now in about a week. And that's doing a complete checkout. 
and make sure you call ahead and get a copy of our inspection sheet that of everything we're going to put this RV through before we tell you it's ready to go for you. And let me tell you this, folks, of all the dealers in the country, there's not a dealer out there that's going to take a 14-year-old motor home and put it, or 15-year-old motor home, and put it through the inspection process that we do. I mean, we're going to check every little, pretty much every little thing on it. There's a couple of exclusions on it. Salespeople will tell you about that. But in general, about 95% of the systems on here are going to be guaranteed to work. And if you've got, like I said, call ahead, get a copy of that list. You're going to be impressed everything we check. And anything we find wrong with it, again, folks, we fix at no additional charge. No matter what it costs, even if we lose money on the deal, we do what we say we're going to do. We're going to sell it to you for $27.9. Not going to go up if we spend more. Um, but that inspection's included. That um, um, After it's been inspected, my cleaning crew is going to clean it inside and out. And it's going to have its final walkthrough by my service manager, Gordy, who will call you and set up an appointment after this unit's been checked and cleaned and he's satisfied with it. Uh, he'll call you to set up an appointment to pick up your new-to-you Class B camper van or if you're having it delivered to set up delivery. If you arrive here, when you arrive here at your appointed time, the, the tech that checked it out that knows it better than anybody is going to spend some time with you, do a personal one-on-one -on -one orientation, show you how to operate everything on the list, show you everything on the list works, answer any questions you have, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, help you hook to, if you're towing a little car runabout, help you hook to that, and more. All that's included, plus you get a 45-day drive-out tag. You get 21 nights of free camp. This is a pretty cool thing here. 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time, at select RV resorts nationwide in a 12-month period. That's included. That's $1,000 worth of free camping. Very nice resorts, too. I've stayed at one of them. Um, that's included. You also get a starter kit with all your camping essentials, such as a new sewer hose, new water hose, and a pressure reducer, chemicals, toilet paper, and much more. All that's included. You know, other dealers, you have to buy that stuff. That's a, you have to go in their store and spend 100 bucks to get all that. But we give that to you in a, in a, in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, we also uh, give you instructional DVDs that you can watch from home. And while you're getting your orientation, you're welcome to record the tech with your camera or cell phone. Anyway, folks, that's a lot of stuff for $27.9. And there's $27.9, no extra fees. We're not like other RV dealerships that pile on the fees after you make a deal and they don't tell you about till you get ready to sign on the dotted line. There's no dock fees or prep fees here, folks. No inspection fees. There's no get ready fees, no franchise fees, freight fees. Um, none of that stuff, folks. Twenty-seven nine plus applicable sales tax. That's it. No games, gimmicks, no surprises. Easy, simple, done. No haggling. We don't. You know, haggling went away thanks to the internet. Everybody gets online price shops now, and if it's not one of the lowest priced ones for the condition it's in and the year model it is, nobody'd call on it, folks. Trust me. You know, people are price shoppers on the internet. Especially for a rare item like this. You just don't find it at your neighborhood RV dealership. This is something somebody can easily justify traveling a few thousand miles to buy. We do all, we do have nationwide delivery. Contact us for a quote. Um, if you want to fly in to Chattanooga, Tennessee Airport, we'll pick you up for free during business hours and bring you back here. Uh, if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll help you drop the car off at a local rental car terminal. And... Uh, you want to take the old-fashioned way, take the Greyhound bus. we got a terminal in Chattanooga. Again, we'll pick you up for free uh, during business hours. So, of course, you want to make all those plans ahead with your salesperson. If you're interested in this van, folks, give us a call. Email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. We're a 51-year-old family-owned and operated used RV dealership. We sell five to 600 units a year and sell a bunch of these vans, folks. We go out of our way to buy them. We try to buy the nicest stuff we can find, and uh, we sell it at a great price, folks. I mean, these things just fly off the lot. As many of you know, <laughs> uh, I get calls just about every day uh, asking about this van or that van because they said every other dealer they call it, when they advertise something, a van, it's gone the next day. 
And it's the same case here, folks. These things can sell as little as two hours. I've sold these vans, that's right, folks, in as little as two hours after being posted online. So many people buy sight unseen these days. And folks, let me tell you something. While we always would prefer that you come in here and we can meet you, show you our facility, meet our employees, and look at this in person and get to know it a little bit, we understand that not everybody can. Um, so we'll help you out any way we can. If you do decide to buy it sight unseen, we'll be happy to send you additional pictures or video, let your salesperson know what you want to see. Um, if we can even recommend, you like to pay for it, but we can even recommend some third party RV inspection services in this area. So they'll give you an unbiased uh, condition report on it. So definitely, you know, we're here to help you out any way we can, folks. You don't stay in business 51 years unless you treat people right, and that's what we do. Um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. Our phone number again is 706-965-7929. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.com and our email is sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. As always, call for faster response, uh, especially going into spring. My guys stay super, super busy. Sometimes they don't get to emails for, for several hours or a day or so. So, you know, like I said, if you, if, if you don't get a response to your email, just go ahead and call. That way there's no, um, there's no delay on getting the RV you want. If you got any questions about this van, folks, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Like I said, if you're looking for one of these vans, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be posting several of them over the next couple of weeks. And um, definitely going to have something you're going to want to buy. Come visit us in person. Uh, email us, call us, check us out. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.